The Australian Army has relied on the M113 armored personnel carrier for over half a century, making it one of the longest serving armored platforms in the nation's military history. Originally designed in the United States, the M113 became a central component of Australian armored warfare doctrine, evolving through numerous upgrades and battlefield experiences. However, with modernization in military strategy and armored vehicle technology, the M113 fleet is now considered obsolete, prompting the transition to the AS-21 Redback Infantry Fighting Vehicle under Project Land 400 Phase 3. Australia's acquisition of the M113 dates back to 1964, following successful trials of two units in 1962. The government sought a robust, adaptable armoured personnel carrier that could operate effectively in the varied terrain of Australia and potential overseas deployment zones. Between 817 and 840 M113s were purchased by 1979 comprising nine different variants tailored for infantry transport, command and control, maintenance, recovery, and fire support roles. These vehicles quickly became the backbone of Australia's mechanized infantry and armoured support units. The M113 saw extensive combat service during Australia's involvement in the Vietnam War, 1965 to 1972, where it played a crucial role in troop mobility, reconnaissance, and fire support. Its ability to traverse rough terrain and provide limited protection against small arms fire and shell fragments made it a vital asset for ground forces operating in dense jungle environments. After Vietnam, the M1113 continued to serve in various peacekeeping and stabilization missions, including deployments to Somalia, 1993, Rwanda, 1994 to 1995, and East Timor, 1999 to 2002 and 2006 to 2008. These operations underscored the vehicle's adaptability to different operational contexts, from combat engagements to humanitarian support. By the late 20th century, the original M1113 fleet had begun to show its age, particularly in comparison to emerging threats and the evolving nature of modern warfare. Recognizing the need for improved protection, mobility, and lethality, the Australian government initiated a long-term modernization program in the 1990s. This effort culminated between 2007 and 2012 with the upgrade of 431 M113s into the M113AS3 and M113AS4 configurations under Project Land 106. The primary improvements to the M113 fleet included enhanced armor protection, increased engine power, upgraded suspension, and the integration of advanced communication systems. The M113 AS3 retained the original vehicle's dimensions but featured improved survivability measures such as spall liners, applique armor, and external fuel tanks. Meanwhile, the M113 AS4 was a lengthened version fitted with an extra road wheel a new power pack, and a T-150F turret housing a 12.7mm M2HB machine gun. Recognizing the M113's declining battlefield relevance, the Australian Army launched Project Land 400 Phase 3 to procure a next-generation infantry fighting vehicle. Initially, the project aimed to replace the M113 fleet with up to 450 IFVs and 17 maneuver support vehicles. However, budgetary and strategic considerations led to a significant reduction in this figure, with the final procurement plan approving only 129 IFEs. In July 2023, after a competitive evaluation process, the AS-21 Redback, developed by Hanwha Defence Australia, was selected as the replacement platform. The Redback represents a quantum leap in capability, boasting advanced protection, firepower, and situational awareness systems. Key features include a 30mm Bushmaster cannon, offering superior firepower compared to the m 13s 12.7mm machine gun, spike LR2 anti-tank guided missiles, significantly increasing the vehicle's ability to engage enemy armor, composite armor and active protection systems, providing enhanced survivability against modern threats, and advanced sensors and a situational awareness system, 
improving the crew's ability to detect and respond to threats. The first AS-21 Redback units are expected to enter service by 2027, marking a major transformation in the Australian Army's armoured warfare doctrine. Australia's transition from the M113 to the AS-21 Redback aligns with broader trends in the Asia-Pacific region, where many nations are upgrading their armoured fleets. South Korea, Singapore, and China have all invested heavily in next-generation IFVs, reflecting the increasing importance of mechanised infantry in modern warfare. South Korea operates the K-21 IFV, featuring similar armament and protection levels as the AS-21 Redback. Singapore fields the Hunter IFV, a networked combat vehicle equipped with an array of digital battlefield systems. China continues to expand its fleet of ZBD-04A IFVs, incorporating modern firepower and defensive technologies. While Australia's selection of the AS-21 Redback ensures it remains competitive within the region, the significantly reduced procurement numbers may limit its ability to sustain prolonged high-intensity combat operations. The original plan for 450 IFVs would have provided a more robust force structure, but the reduced fleet size means that strategic deployment and force multiplication through technological integration will be critical factors in maintaining operational effectiveness. Beyond the introduction of the AS-21 Redback, Australia has also explored the integration of unmanned and optionally manned combat vehicles. In April 2024, the Army successfully conducted tests on a remotely operated M130 AS-4, equipped with electro-optic systems R-400 remote weapon stations. These tests, conducted at the Pukapunyal military area, demonstrated the potential for transforming legacy platforms into autonomous combat assets. The EOS R-400 system is designed to accommodate a range of weaponry, from 7.62mm machine guns to 30mm cannons and anti-tank missiles. During live fire exercises, operators stationed in Canberra, over 550 kilometers away, remotely controlled the system and successfully engaged targets at distances of 300 to 600 meters. This development suggests that while the M113 is being phased out of frontline service, its role in experimentation and technology development for autonomous combat vehicles could extend its relevance in other military applications, such as logistics, reconnaissance, and remote fire support. The Australian Army's M113 fleet has served as a cornerstone of its armoured forces for nearly six decades, playing a pivotal role in various combat and peacekeeping operations. However, with evolving battlefield threats and technological advancements, the platform has reached the end of its viable service life. The selection of the AS-21 Redback under Project Land 400 Phase 3 represents a necessary and forward-looking modernization effort aligning Australia's armoured capabilities with regional and global military trends. While challenges such as reduced procurement numbers persist, the shift towards more advanced, better protected and higher firepower platforms ensures that Australia remains prepared for future conflicts. Additionally, ongoing research into unmanned combat vehicles presents an intriguing avenue for extending the capabilities of legacy platforms and shaping the future of armoured warfare in Australia.